going on everybody I know this is a view that you guys are not familiar with seeing me in the sleeper berth usually I do all my videos from the driver's seat or outside but uh just wanted to give an update I'm still here in Cali um You know, I thought I would have been gone by now, but it didn't happen that way. You know, sometimes you gotta take the, the bitter with the sweet. You know, um, I was under the impression that I was gonna come out here, I was gonna run a load out here from Maryland, the one I picked up, and head on back. But, um, it didn't happen that way. I mean, I've been out here since Thursday I believe I got out there and I've been running loads you know, a lot of small loads and um, as you all know this past Friday was Friday the 13th and I was discussing something with my wife I was telling her you know which now she she, she finally believes me but for at least the past 10 years or so I can honestly say that um Every Friday the 13th, something not so good happens to me. And no, I'm not one that's big on superstition and nothing like that, but it's the God and it's truth. It never fails. Every year, Friday the 13th, something bad happens to me. Well, <clears throat> this Friday that just passed, Friday the 13th, uh, as I was driving throughout the day, my air condition decide to start acting funny you know and like I said I'm in California with like 95 degrees outside and it started acting funny so it was a long hot miserable day um, I picked up the load I brought that load I had I dropped it off at the customer and same place I dropped it off at I went there to go I went to I picked up a load from there as well and there was a problem with, me, with my, my bills, you know, the, um, sorry about that, I'm just eating up dinner in the microwave. Um, but anyway, the security forgot to give me my bills, and it was just a whole mix up, so that had me flabbergasted and frustrated, and my AC not working properly, so I decided to go to the truck stop and call it a day, and I shut down early. Wow, when I got to the truck stop, I didn't realize until I got there was one I had been to before when I was out here in California a couple of years back. And it's small and it's kind of tight. But luckily for me, I found a parking spot, which was kind of a corner parking spot, which I really don't like too much, but I, but I took it anyway. And I was on the phone, I was joking with my wife, and I was saying, you know what? Just, you know, I don't like this spot because I don't want to get hit. God forbid, I don't want nobody to hit my truck. I wouldn't want that to happen. And we were joking, and then she kind of made a comment, and she was like, well, aren't you glad that, you know, you're, this Friday the 13th went, you know, it went without a hitch, you didn't have any issues, you didn't have any problems? So I said to her, I said, my love, I said, you're wrong. Friday the 13th is over for you, but for me, I'm three hours behind you, so it's still technically Friday the 13th where I'm at. Long story short, uh, we said our goodbyes, and I went to bed, and bah! About two hours after I went to bed, what the hell was that? My truck rocked. What the hell was that? Yep. I got woken up by someone hitting my truck. He was backing into the spot next to me, and he clearly didn't pay attention because the back of his trailer was down there in the front of my hood. So he he took out my uh, my headlights and cracked up my hood, which I'll do a video on tomorrow or so. And that kind of screwed me up because now with only one headlight, I can't drive at night. I can only drive during the daytime hours. And 
that kind of messed up my plans because I was scheduled to go home this week for home time because I have some important stuff to do. And although I probably could get home, it'd be, it'd be really pushing it. You know, because it's based on the day and the time I was supposed to be home. And um, not only that, you know, my air. My air condition, sorry, that was my truck shutting off. My air condition uh, hasn't been working properly, and it's you know it's, it's just hot, it's miserable. So I decided that tomorrow I'm gonna pick up a load, and I gotta take a load up to uh, pick it up in Modesto and take it up to Paramount, California, and then from there head over to Fontana to get my truck worked on because I gotta get the air conditioner fixed, I gotta get um, the uh, the headlight and the hood checked out. And about a week and a half ago, my truck got hit in a truck stop in North Carolina. So my mirror is kind of damaged, so I gotta get that fixed. So it's just a whole bunch of stuff that I really gotta get looked at and taken care of. You know, and I know I'm not, I'm not trying to sound long-winded or nothing like that, but that was just mainly the purpose of this video, is to expect the unexpected when you're out here. Things are going to happen, you know, things that are beyond your control. You know, like, you know, my mirror being broken, uh, I was supposed to get it fixed last week, it didn't happen. It's not, the glass is still intact, so it's not considered a DOT violation, but I do have duct tape holding it on, it looks kind of hideous. And now the situation where my, my air condition stopped working on me out here, which is kind of ironic because when I was in California two years ago in my old truck, the same thing happened to me. My air condition stopped running and I went to the truck stop and bought this little handy dandy fan I got right here. As you can see right here. Um, 35 bucks it cost me, but it's loud, but it, you know, it gets you by. So, um, yeah, that was that, you know, and it's just been, <clears throat> my morale has been up and down the past few days, but you know, I'm staying positive, you know, and I believe everything happens for a reason, and, you know, I didn't want to be out in California this long, but I'm still here, and judging on how quick they can get me in the shop, I might be here a few more extra days, you know, so... It's just an update for me. You know, when it rains it pours, I guess, man. But you know, I don't want to take that ride all the way back, you know, with no air condition. It's just it's been a it's been a past few nights has been, you know, kinda of crazy. It's been a killer. And although I can sleep in a hotel, I really don't want to go through all of that. So I've been toughing it out with my truck. Now as far as tonight, tonight it's not that bad. It's nice and cool. So, you know, I'm alright. You know, um, just, just gonna tough it out here in the truck again. If I can get, just, you know, get my truck to stay running for a little while sometimes because, you know, my, my as you can see, I plate blinker right there because my truck shuts off on me. My truck has a timer on it, you know, um, depending on the temperature ranges, uh, it'll run for, it'll run up for up to five minutes. If it's uh, above 70, it'll run for up to five minutes. I mean, I'll run all I'll idle all night if it's above 70. And if it's below, I think, 20 degrees, she'll run all night. Um, but for some reason, the timing is off because right now it's actually above 70 degrees. But, you know, she won't, she won't run. So, not like my AC is working much anyway, but... That's just what it is, man. That's what you just have to, ex to expect out here, you know? You're not gonna always go home when you wanna go home. As much as you can try to plan it, it's not gonna wor always work out the way you want it to work out. So, you know, shit happens, you know? Just one of those unfortunate events. Uh, like I said, I was looking forward to getting home this week, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, I can really, if I wanted to, I can really push it, but like I said, I wanna get my truck fixed. I don't wanna be driving like that, you know? So, just gonna suck it up. So that's just my update. I'm sitting here in uh, 
Oh God, I forgot where the hell I'm at. Somewhere in California. Is it Loudy? No, it's not Loudy. I was at Loudy last night. I don't know. I'm in California. I'm on I-5 at the Flying J exit for 61, something like that on I-5. Sitting here, just chilling out, you know, watching a little bit of TV here, and having me some little din din here. Ooh la! And just, you know, just gonna relax. All right, guys, that's just a little update. Until the next one. Peace. God bless. And oh yeah, I'll, I'll make a video tomorrow about my uh, <laughs> about my two damages that occurred from other trucks. And that's another reason why I, I really don't like to come to truck stops if I don't have to. I prefer rest areas, but I'll put that in a whole separate video. Alright guys, this is long. I'm long-winded. And peace.